yes, I am a transformational self-love coach and I actually choose to work with women um, because that is just my passion. And over the years, I myself, so what I'm gonna do is just share a piece of my journey and how I got here and why I think it's, why I think it's so important to focus on self-love and growth. So my first interaction with self-love was a Beyonce song or self was a Beyonce song, Me, Myself and I. And I thought that that was the epitome of learning who you are. And instead of what I, from what I know now, I know that was self-preservation. I didn't open myself up to anyone. I, uh, I was very closed off and it caused a lot of trauma to be trapped inside. So in college, when I got asked to do this, this talk, I said, how could I tie this into higher education? So in college, I had a couple of drunk nights. I can't speak for everybody else. I've had a couple of drunk nights where I made some really questionable decisions, um, but I'm here to talk about them. I had friends who made some very questionable decisions that led to untimely death, untimely pregnancy for them, um, and just took them so far from the place that they declared and intended to be at the beginning of the, sem of the semester. And I sat there and thought, what if there was a prerequisite to learn yourself, to look at yourself and understand why it is you make these decisions. What has framed your way of being, of thinking? Why is it that, um, for me personally, why is it that I was seeking so much outside of myself? What if that was taught to me before I went on this journey of being in college and, and, and getting into all of these things? Um, and, and that's what I wanna bring to this space. If a class was offered or something was offered on self-discovery or self-love, if we had the opportunity to go deeper, what would that mean for my, not only for my friends who are now dealing with what they're dealing with now, but for the people who are going through it in this very, very moment, the people who are actually in a place that could use these tools to help shape, right? We're always gonna, we're gonna be able to experience life in our own way, but what if we had the tools and knew how to mm, see ourselves from a place of wholeness and completeness in which we were created? So that is what I get to do on the other end with women who have already, who would testify right now and test and give a testimony to saying that they lost themselves well before they came to me, well before they went to college, well before they got married and had kids, that it started somewhere where they were very small. So if we could meet them somewhere, somewhere where they are, before they can get to me, I love my job and I don't want to lose it. I love coaching women. However, if we could meet them before they got there to teach them and give them the tools that could stop, not stop, but help them to not look for validation. This goes for men and women. Validation, acceptance outside of themselves. What would that mean? What would that look? look like a part of everything in their own way that's going to help them become who they are is there's some things that I wish I didn't have to go through and if I would have known better if someone would have shown me at least another way that would open up the opportunity to grow or experience life with more confidence with more awareness and that is what I hope to continue to bring to this world Right now, I work with women. My goal, my dream, is to have a center for, for little girls to start young before they even get to higher education so that they already know, have a really strong sense of who they are as they choose their, their uh, careers, their goals, their whatever it is. They will, go, they will come from a position of knowing themselves, loving themselves confident in the ability to make mistakes, confident in the ability to, to show up, messy, happy, as they are, just as they are. That is my whole purpose for doing the work that I do. And I hope, I don't even know where I'm at on time. You didn't give me eight minutes, my daughter. I must be doing good. I must be speaking fast because <laughs> you haven't even given me the eight minutes yet. So I wrote down a couple of things. I don't have all of the answers right? This is just my 
uh, area that I am focused on, but I know there's so much more. And I know that if we come together with our different experiences, with our different expertise, with our different modalities, how can we impact in our different cultures, right? Talking about Beyonce, yeah, I might be talking about somebody else, right? So how can we reach and teach self-love in our different cultures in a way that it's going to be so impactful that it transcends generations? I don't have the answers for everyone. I, I only know what I know, but together, together, any and everything is possible. So I can't wait to hear everyone else's shares and their passions, because I know that while I do this work over here in my little area, and you guys are doing your work over in your area, all together, we're making such a huge, huge difference. And that is all I, that's it, my daughter, I don't need any more time. I don't need not one more minute. 